Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome here to the launch pad. You're looking at a live view of historic Launch Complex 39A at NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where we are counting down to the launch of 23 more Starlink V2 minis to low Earth orbit. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name is Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the launch pad. And here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. SpaceX is in the final three and a half minutes of the count. On your screen, Falcon 9 Booster 1078, ready to go for its 12th flight on a 40-day turnaround. This booster has previously supported Crew 6, 03BM Power, USS F-124, and eight previous Starlink missions. SpaceX's autonomous drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas, is stationed downrange in the Atlantic Ocean, ready to recover today's booster. <coughs> As always, we're going to be answering your comments and questions in the, uh, from the chat, make sure you take us at the launch pad. We'll be answering those during the coast phase. But as we get started, take a moment, engage the like button, share the stream, invite people to join us as we count down these final minutes of stage one. Locks load complete. And there you can hear them beginning to call out the topping uh, completion of the Falcon 9's uh, tanks in preparation for flight. T minus two minutes, 42 seconds, and counting till launch. As normal, SpaceX no longer provides live coverage of deployment, so we'll be ending our broadcast shortly after Booster Touchdown and SCS-1, which we'll confirm those in a bit. But there is going to be a second burn of the second stage, 54 minutes, 59 seconds into flight, for one second to finalize its deployment orbit, and then Starlink deployment will occur one hour, three minutes, 53 seconds into flight. SpaceX will confirm deployment uh, via their social media. As we come down to that two-minute countdown mark, you know, if you're on YouTube, let's see that go-no-go no go in the chat. If you haven't yet, click that Join button, become a TLP member to get access Stage to our custom two, box load complete. TLP launch emotes. Next major call-out will be when they have confirmation of Falcon 9 startup. That's when Falcon 9 takes over the count. That'll be followed by the final go for launch from the launch director. I know we've got some of our TLP rocket chasers out in the field and uh, some very large clouds around the Space Coast, but everything continuing to Ground gas close look green for flight. We're we'll keeping a close eye on that as always. Connor saying it will be interesting if solar storms affect their cadence. They have before, so definitely something we'll have to watch out. Coming down to T minus 70 seconds, you can see the water tower is purging excess water as it is fully fueled or fully filled, ready for the deluge. Coming down to T minus 60 seconds and counting till SpaceX Starlink 6 dash, or 10 dash 6. Is startup. And there's that call for startup. Falcon 9 taking over the count, it is pressurizing its tanks to flight levels. In preparation, waiting for the call out of a final go from the launch director go for launch and we have it we have a go for launch from the spacex launch director t minus 37 seconds and counting you can see there the venting really calming down now really the only clouds that we are seeing coming from just actually the super chilled falcon 9 from the first and second stage as it's ready for flight t minus 22 seconds and counting let's listen in to SpaceX Mission Control for the final count of launch of SpaceX Starlink 10-6. T-minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. And Falcon 9 has cleared the tower of historic Launch Complex 39A, beginning its journey to low Earth orbit. 23 Starlink V2 minis on board. T plus 25 seconds into flight. The next major call out will be 1 minute 10 seconds. That's when we will reach max Q or maximum mechanical stress on the vehicle. But for now, let's listen in to that beautiful Falcon 9 rumble. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic.
Max Q. And if you're just joining, if you're just joining us, Falcon 9 currently one minute 50 seconds into flight, flying 23 Starlink V2 minis to low Earth orbit. You heard the call out there for MVAC engine chill. That's in preparation for a sequence of events kicking off at two minutes 26 seconds, with Miko or first stage main engine cutoff immediately followed by first and second stage separation, MVAC engine start or SES1, grid fin deploy, and then fairing separation. So let's listen in to those callouts expected to begin in 15 seconds. Miko? Stage separation confirmed. Second stage startup. Bearing separation confirmed. And some great callouts there from Miko. First and second stage separation, MVAC engine start, grid fin deploy, and then we saw the visual of fairing deployment. The first stage is now coasting to its apogee. That's its highest point in its flight. Let's see those guesses in the chat of how high it will go tonight. Second stage continuing under power. Both vehicles now over the Carmen line. That's that 100 kilometer line known as the generically accepted international line of space. The first stage will coast to its apogee, then begin just falling back to Earth before conducting an entry burn. That entry burn is expected to begin 6 minutes, 6 seconds into flight, lasting 22 seconds tonight. That's when a few of the Merlin 1D engines will ignite, helping slow the vehicle as it hits the Earth's atmosphere, slowing it and protecting it from that re-entry heating. We're going to be answering your guys' comments and questions, so you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad. We'll work on answering those live. Yemo Martian, yesterday was your birthday. Happy 18th. Congratulations. You made it. You're an adult. Uh, Yemo, when do you think Starship will launch? Uh, Elon said Starship probably could be ready in two to three weeks, but it comes down to the FAA. So uh, I'm thinking solely because of other things which we'll be confirming later that relate to TLP, I'm thinking the last week of August, but I'm really hoping for the first week of September so I can attend the launch. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. And it looks like we've had Apogee there. Confirmation. We'll get that uh, number. I was talking to the chat, so I missed it. One of our mods caught it. 116 is what we saw there. Perfect. Apogee at 116, the first stage. Now beginning its descent back down to Earth, having completed its 12th ascent. Now heading back down to the drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. You can keep sending those questions in the chat by taking us at the launch pad. And make sure you subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage. Docking, undocking, or return to Earth. And I say that because it's going to be a busy month at the International Space Station. Starliner will leave. Will it have its crew on board? We'll wait to see. Crew 9 will hopefully launch once Starliner leaves. We then have a Russian uh, cargo launching. And then Crew 8 should come home once Crew 9 arrives. So lots of stuff happening. Plus we have a Cygnus launching in a couple of days as well. So a very busy month at the International Space Station. We're we'll waiting just for that confirmation of entry burn startup. You'll see it on the left side of your screen. It's expected to begin here in about 25 seconds. David says Falcon Heavy again soon. That's the hope for the Europa Clipper. It's a very set timeline, but there are questions if Europa will be ready. Uh, we released an article on that a few weeks ago. Make sure you stay up to date on the latest space news, tlpnetwork.com news. And if you're a TLP member, 
I promise you in September you're going to be a member to get beta access to some really exciting things. So, little teaser. And there you can see Entry Burn Startup has been confirmed. 22 second burn. Helping burn off a couple thousand kilometers of speed, an hour of speed while it enters. Now coming down to that 50 kilometers in altitude. I always point out here, following the entry burn, just look at the speed Falcon 9 is still traveling at. 5,700 and increasing, 42 kilometers and decreasing in altitude. Nominal trajectories. It is now falling out of the sky and just using the booster and its grid fins, it will slow down in preparation for its landing burn. Landing burn set to begin. Seven minutes, 53 seconds into flight, about 60 seconds from now. But for now, that first stage is in free fall. The second stage will shut down shortly after touchdown, 8 minutes, 39 seconds into flight, concluding its first burn. It will conduct one more burn before payload deployment, 1 hour, 53 minutes, sorry, 1 hour, 3 minutes, 53 seconds into flight, excuse me, uh, and that will complete its mission. But it will be lit one more time after deployment as SpaceX tries to no longer leave space debris in orbit. We're waiting for the call out here of landing burn start, about 30 seconds away from that. We'll hopefully see the lights of the drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas, come into view. If you're interested in becoming part of the TLP crews, so make sure you send us a message over on Discord or email, and we'd love to connect with you there to get some applications. If you're interested in becoming a moderator, a launch host, or a journalist, as well, make sure you join us over on the Discord. That's where our community hangs out in between streams, and we would love to see you there. And there we have landing burn startup. We should see the drone ship come into view now that there's some light. A recent addition, the light on the drone right. ship. And we have touchdown of Falcon 9 completing its 12th mission. Second stage in its final seconds of its burn. Today's flight was a northern trajectory. We're going to see this more and more with the 10th group of Starlink. We'll try to make sure we mention that in the future. This was the first of four launches this weekend that to be able to catch here at the launch pad. This was Starlink Group 10-6. We have Electron's 51st flight, one at one, sorry, Owl for One, One for Owl, on uh, Friday. That's tomorrow uh, morning. We then have Falcon 9 CRS carrying the Cygnus to the space station on Saturday. And then Falcon 9 is back with Starlink Group 11-1 on Sunday. It is a triple Falcon 9 weekend, and you can catch it all here on the launch pad with an electron thrown in the middle, because why not? That's going to do it for us here tonight from our TLP Canada studio on behalf of the entire TLP crew. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're watching on YouTube, we're going to send you over to our 24-7 Starbase stream where you can see SpaceX has stacked the fifth segment and is preparing the sixth for stacking at the second tower of Starbase. But that's going to do it for us tonight. We'll see you next time because space is better together. Good night.